For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hello friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that Ansible ad hoc commands. So what this ad hoc commands is do is that so do really quick, but do not save for later. So just do on a quick job and do not save anything for later. So that's what the ad hoc commands do. So if you want to do a really quick job, then you can just run an ad hoc commands and it will give you the really quick result and it will not save for the later for the doing the stuff, right? So, but whereas if you write in a playbook, the playbook can be executed on later version, later onwards also. like share comment and subscribe so let's see this how this uh, ansible ad hoc commands so basically if you want to execute any ad hoc command so where you can give this use this ansible syntax so the ansible syntax is uh, command ansible then whether if you already specify the inventory file like where you have already group specific already group defined or the server name is defined on the inventory file so that you can call here whether you you call you execute these other commands and group of servers then you call it as a that group which group you wanted to execute or if you want to execute the command only on particular server you just call that server name then iphan m is for module so there are thousands of module in this ansible so which module to use when so you can refer the ansible documentation for that so there are so many modules so when you wanted to use example say that uh, restart the service you can use the service module or maybe you can also just use the uh, shell commands over there so using the shell module you can just execute the shell commands or shell scripts on the remote machine so there are so many modules you can use it so a as an arguments like the module arguments then u is user example say that i would like to execute this uh, ansible command on the remote machine using the particular user so you can also specify that user by specifying if an u username and if you want to become that user example say that i i am going as a normal user i want to become after logging into that server become as an a root user then you can also do that become user then specify that secret password after the become password so or you can also specify if an k for asking the password okay uh, here there are some uh, options which we will use mostly on the um, ansible ad hoc commands execution one is called iphone capital b which is called background wait so whenever you are executing a long running script if you want to wait that script to be executed on the background you just specify capital b to specify this many seconds it should wait on the background then iphone k so iphone kb is useful whenever example say that you want to execute some commands on the remote user remote server within a different user so you did not specify any passwordless authentication so then iphone k if you specify then it will ask you for the password okay uh, and iphone capital t so it uh, waits for in a timeout on the current shell itself it's not the background it's just in a timeout Oh, how many seconds you would like to wait and uh, time out that command if it is not response okay then iphone a so we already know that arguments and iphone b is for becoming the user or iphone iphone become you can also anything so iphone i is an inventory file so you by default if you do not provide any inventory file so which uses by default slash etc slash ansible slash host file but if you have an a particularly defined different inventory file then you can also call that inventory file from that what is the group you want to call you can also that call that group name on the uh, first itself so 
iPhone M is for modeling module so which module you would like to use you can use it but here there are some frequently used modules I will show you on this other commands on the practical session so iPhone V is used for debugging the scripts if you want to use iPhone V small then if any errors comes on execution then if you use iPhone VVV then it will give you the complete debugging logs where actually the commands is struck and where it is failed so that way you can debug your ansible scripts or ansible playbooks even using this vvv option okay that's what about the syntax ansible so let's jump into the practical and see how it works so here i am using ansible master so now let's example say here i would like to execute some commands okay so ansible example say that ansible so we already configured some uh, inventory already in yesterday so let's say that servers is my group name i would like to say that i would like to get the uptime of that servers all the servers what is the uptime of that servers so you just provide the command in the single quotation then it will get the uptime of the each and every server so we have four servers and those servers uptime is this one so one server is in 47 minutes almost they have started a similar time so that's why it gives us the output as something like this okay so it does do anything says so that's why it reports is that is doing some change so the command is executed and get the output over here you can see that that's the output you get here so like like way if you would like to execute any remote commands you can also very execute that so i would like to execute maybe on the servers i use the module called shell module i will use it here on the shell i run just like uh, what is the sshd status okay so here what i'm doing here it is that service httpd status so what is sorry maybe i did not install httpd so i use sshd status so which written is that non written code because which is not exactly the same because the remote session should execute this way system ctl status sshd so now you can see this the all the systems sshd status over here you can simply see that right so all of this so likewise you can get the status or if you want to restart maybe if you want to restart the service from we can also execute this from here as well you can use the shell commands here from here so maybe if, if you would like to get some uh, all the use all the servers uh, output like example say that i would like to get the df iphone h command so what is the uh, their uh, disk utilize uh, all the mount points and their utilizations if you'd like to get all of them in a single place you can get that so you can just execute the command and get the output over here so this is very pretty fast and you can just go into the all of the servers and get the details over here right see this node 3 node 4 all of the servers it went and get the df iphone h command output so that's why you can use the command also to get the output from the remote machines get the output from the remote machines so quickly so that's what the ansible does so then um, if you have some files example say that after creating my uh, all of the servers i would like to copy the ssh files to the all of the remote machines you can simply copy them using the ansible ansible servers so that is my group you can use the module called copy here and maybe let's see this do i have any files here 
maybe I will create um, touch testing and zip something like this then I edit this one and say this is an a testing copy file from Ansible master then save this file so now I would like to copy this one to the remote missions so how many missions are there I would like to copy that to the destination so here what you have to mention that source where is the source file is so my source file is slash root and the file name is testing and zip is the file name so i would like to copy to the destinations all of the destinations here on the maybe uh, i did not provide any uh, that user so that's why i say slash home and zip u1 is my destination so this where it should copy the files so the destination file may be also test unzip something like this okay so my file is copying from this server to the all of the destination servers so quickly so here i have to provide the module copy here okay now let's execute so what happened it says changed discovered changed unchanged something like that then you can go ahead and see that if i go to here and unzip u1 you can see that there is a file called testing you can see that this is a testing copy from the ansible master you can go and all see that in all the nodes and uh, cd slash home and save you on and see that so that's why you can copy the file from one location to another location example say that if you want to insert some text onto the all of the machines so that i would like to create a passwordless authentication from using this add a commands to the all of the servers in a single go you can also copy some text using the uh, text are uh, the the file method you can copy that text as it uh, or if you would like to say that uh, if you want to install some packages on the remote machine then uh, you can also use the m module iphone m module m module this is the module m and iphone a then you can specify the uh, details here example say that name um, which package you would like to install on the remote machine okay then that specify that particular package name here um example what the package i would like to take over here it is that okay i would like to install that uh, wget package so rpm wget package state equal to present so whether the package is present or not if it is not present then it will install if it is present it just leaves it from m and um, double get so it says that it's already installed so there is no in the node 2 it's already installed there is no action is required so now it's uh, going through the all the machines and verifies that whether it the package is already installed or not so it is verifying that in all the nodes okay so it's uh, node 2, node 3, node 4 and master also. The duplicate package is already installed. So that's why. So it's not doing anything. So if you want to uninstall the package, then what you can do is that you can simply say that offset. So what it will do, it will uninstall the package from the remote servers. Let's see this. So M and uh, I am checking that M gate package if it is present then you should do an option so the it says that node double get package has been removing from the node 3 node 4 so you can also see that it's also removed from the master so now if in if i go ahead and uh, see rpm and qa and grip for w get so there is no package now i would install the packages back again 
let's see that so and verify the package whether it is installed or not see that now type the uh, command and see that the package has been installed so this way you can simply do a fast and really quick commands execution on the remote machines so if you want example say that if you want to create some users so quickly on the remote machines you can also do that so example say ansible and uh, say my group name is servers hyphen a so we have to use the module called user and iphone a so here which user you would like to create the name of the user example say that uh, you would like to create ravi is the username you would like to create and the password the password should be in a encrypted password so maybe i use a plain password here so do not recommend to use plain password anyway you can use md5 sum to get the encrypted version of the password and use that so let's see this uh, so now not logging in password so says that so the user has been created if you go to the node to example say here and say cat slash etc slash password file and grep for the ravi user so the user is exist so that's why you can verify the status so in similar way if you would like to verify the services status on the remote machines okay and you can also use the name called service and say here example say which one i would like to uh, see sshd is my service name state so if you would like to see that what is already started service so if it is in started do nothing so that's why it says that if it is already started then it, it will not do anything so you can see that the service status has been executed something like this so this way you can get the uh, service status or you can do a service restart or you can also do a server restart or you can also do some commands execute some commands from here as well so i would like to do some commands here shell so maybe i would like to do something like this slash has been slash service sshd status and do a you can see that so this is what it's written from the remote machine so the remote machine services are running here you can see that so that way you can execute the attack command so really and quickly to do something but do not save for the later version so that's what the uh, attack commands do that's about it guys thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses do look for the description window so in description section there is an a urls or the playlist is available and documentation is available for you please follow us on social networking sites uh, one is uh, facebook the facebook page name is uh, at linux ark it uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on facebook the next one is instagram uh, instagram name page name is arkit.co.in click on follow button to follow me and uh, twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just tweet me at a ravikumar48 so i will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want to latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here